Prynhawn Dog of Eithion, Diolch am ddod i'r datganiad am y Prynhawn Ma, yn coleg brynhinol cerdd a drama Cymru. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama to this very uh, special recital, uh, an opera rara recital in association with Cardiff Singer of the World and ourselves here at the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. Our connection with Opera Rara as a college is a, is a deeply important one to us. Um, we are privileged to house the Foil Opera Rara collection here, and uh, I, I don't know if any of you have booked onto these already, but there are tours available this week during Cardiff Singer Week uh, with Judith Dre, our head librarian here, um, uh, giving you an insight of this very special collection. I was in the archive yesterday, and. Uh, touching manuscripts, original manuscripts of Donizetti and letters by great opera singers uh, from across the... So if you do have time and are able to go and, and book yourselves onto one of those tours, I think you will be uh, amazed at, at, at what is there in that collection. We're delighted that these opera recitals are happening um, with, uh, with Cardiff Singer of the World this week. Um, but you may have heard of this already, but due to illness, um, Julian Henao Gonzalez is no longer able to perform the lunchtime concert tomorrow. Um, in place of this performance, I'm delight delighted that renowned musicologist and Opera Rara's repertoire consultant, Roger Parker, will join Opera Rara's chief, ex chief executive, Henry Little, for a talk about the method of, of, res of re restoring and lost and forgotten operas, and what it means to be part of this live operatic archaeology. Um, I'm delighted that uh, also illustrating that talk, our artists from today have, uh, have, a re have agreed to return tomorrow. So we will once again hear Kez Kezia Bienek and pianist James Southall, who is also our music director of the David Seligman Opera School here at the college. So a discovery about that process, uh, and if any of you have attended Opera Rara um, performances or heard those recordings of, of operas that have been forgotten for over a century, it's, it's an amazing thing to be part of and to see that, um, that, that live archaeology, as they say. Which brings me to today's recital. Um, and I've just mentioned the artists, Kezia Bienek and James Southall, who will be performing uh, our songs for this, uh, for this special recital. And I'm also delighted that Roger Parker, the musicologist and uh, repertoire consultant for Opera Rara, will be shedding a little bit of light on the, the songs that you'll hear today. Many of them you'll be hearing for the first time. So please would you welcome very warm, warmly to the stage, Roger Parker. The <laughs> Thank you, um, it's a great pleasure to be here with you. Um, I thought I'd, I'd just take five minutes before the performers come on to explain a little bit about the, the context of this concert. It all actually comes from uh, a lockdown project which I had. I mean, you, I sat there at the beginning of the year 2000 and thought, what, what am I going to do? And decided that Donizetti's songs would be a, would be a good project. Um, they, Donizetti wrote obviously, as we all know, wrote uh, a huge number of operas, but he also throughout his life wrote songs, about 200 solo songs, as far as I know, more and more are turning up all the time. And I decided to sort of become mildly obsessed about making an edition of them. Um, it was, most of the manuscripts of these songs are in, um, are in the three main libraries, one in Paris, one in, Naples and one in his hometown of Bergamo. Um, and there's a, but there's a fourth place which is extremely important. I'm gonna talk about that in the interval of this concert a little bit uh, and explain because it's, it has great local significance. Um, anyway, these, these 200 solo songs, um, Opera Rara has a plan to record them all over the next two years. And uh, the Italian publisher Ricordi is going to publish them. So they'll finally be available. And I think they're gonna be a really, uh, a really important addition to the, to the song repertory. So look, the first half, this, this brief concert's in, in two halves. And in the, in the first half, um, we're gonna hear seven songs, um, five of them Italian and two of them 
French. And they give a kind of, um, we chose these because they've got a, a sort of broad idea of the range that uh, Donizetti could employ in these songs. Some of them are very simple, very uncomplicated, and some of them are really ambitious in all sorts of ways. And I think I'd, I'd say particularly drawing attention to the last song, Je ne me plaignis pas, which is something that you might recognize, the opening melody, um, because it comes from La Fille du Régiment. But in fact, he wrote it as a song first um, and then imported it into the opera with different words. There's all sorts of intersections between opera and song in these, uh, in these songs. And uh, so the first half, you've got five Italian songs, two French songs. So join me in welcoming James and Kezia to the stage. Thank you.
songs there, that sort of incredible variety that we've got there. There were some of those songs which wouldn't be out of, uh, out of place in Rossini, some very simple with a sort of domestic uh, performance you can imagine, and then that last song which was nearer Bizet than, than Donizetti in all sorts of ways and was very modern sounding. So a huge kind of, um, huge kind of range. Um, I mentioned that there was a fourth place which is a very important uh, sort of source for finding about information and finding new Donizetti songs. And that's right here in Cardiff, and in fact right here in this, in, in this building, which is the Foil Opera Rara um, collection. Uh, this, was, uh, um, this was created first by Patrick Schmidt, um, the founder of Opera Rara in the 1970s with the uh, um, financial help of the Peter Morse Foundation. And, Patrick and his team sort of went round Italy and uh, other places in Europe collecting all the sources they could. The idea was that they were going to do a complete edition of all of Donizetti's operas, a complete recorded edition. They didn't get that far, but they got quite a, a way, and Opera Rara has been continuing that. Um, the, um, with the help of the Foyle Foundation, that vast collection that they made uh, came here to Cardiff um, and is now being digitized and uh, their preservation thing. So the Foyle Trust, was, the Foyle Foundation was, immediate, was enormously important in this and the Colwiston Trust has now been involved in, in saving these manuscripts for posterity. So there's a huge amount of the material that went into collecting this edition of songs is, has been right here in Cardiff, which is kind of exciting. The second half, um, it's just got two numbers in it. The first is a, is a bit of a rest from Donizetti, is, is something by Mercadante, and a beautiful song, actually, where you can see that the contribution of the piano becomes much more important, uh, and it, it gives us a different color, if you want. And then the last song is a, is a, is a long number. It's almost a cantata. Um, it's, it's an extraordinary um, song, which is the, um, it's meant to be enunciated by a mad woman who's on the island of St. Helena, um, seeing Napoleon in the distance and identifying with him in all sorts of strange ways. Um, it's a very, very um, remarkable song. It's got a huge range of emotion. Just at the beginning, it sounds almost like atonal. Um, like, you know, Donizetti is trying to get near Tristan and Isolde or something. Um, it's very, very strange. And then there's a huge sort of variety of vocal attitudes as this mad woman um, uh, sort of explains her visions. Uh, and then at the end, Napoleon is declared by her to be dead and the dies irae sounds and so on. It's a really, really remarkable song. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, let's welcome the singers back. Thank you.
Ils disent tous que je suis folle. Et que me fait le mépris des pervers? Il passé depuis. Ma pauvre tête, que 